Well, Jeepers, hello, everybody. It's uh, Gareth Martin, your now solo host of the Ridiculously Human podcast. Yeah, it feels kind of weird and kind of crazy that it's been such a long hiatus since I, well, we recorded an episode or launched an episode. And uh, there's good reason for that, uh, which we discussed in, in the previous episode to this. Um, but I but I thought I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, the, the podcast going forward. And I've written a few notes here, just so you know, I'm definitely going to be referring to them. I haven't got a teleprompter or, or anything like that. I just want to be kind of as uh, as genuine as I can as possible. Um, so, so, but do forgive me for just checking out what uh, what things I want to want to cover. Uh, it definitely feels weird uh, not doing this with with Craig, and uh, I'm going to seriously miss his his presence in the conversations because he has a, a unique view on on things, and I think that's why we complemented each other so well is we we saw things um differently um and we we liked uh, different guests and and these sort of things um but obviously uh, going forward there's going to be no uh, chocolate salty sounding voice of craig's or his good looks and unfortunately you are um left with moi so um so yeah if you ever want to see him again i will invite him again on a, as a guest for sure because he has a, a lot to offer and he's been up to some really interesting things these last couple of years. Um, just picking up kind of also that last episode where Craig and I discussed why we uh, we stopped doing the podcast together. It's actually been quite emotional because I was going through like all of our old photos and all of our old guests and um, yeah, it just it stirred some emotion in me and I, I feel really privileged uh, with what Craig and I achieved, I feel we we spoke to some really fascinating people, um, and it's it provided a, a deeper relationship for us. It provided more meaning to our relationship, and and that really really means a lot. I also want you to know that like Craig and I are still are the best of mates, and we speak to each other all the time, and um, that's a, that's a really important thing, I think. Uh, so, yeah, geez, these last uh, last few years have been kind of crazy, haven't they? You know, and and I've really wanted to get the podcast going again, but I've had this crazy resistance. Like I can't even begin to explain. Like from me doing it again, and yeah, but I think ultimately what happened is that um, a few things happened. I I became a dad and. I became sick of what I was actually telling myself, the story. I was like, you're going to start again, Gareth. You're going to start again, Gareth. And I just became almost irritated with me saying that to myself, but not actually doing anything. And then lastly, I think, which is probably the most important one, is that I think it's important to for my wife to be proud of me as as a man, as a dad, and uh, offering something positive and optimistic uh, to the world, and that was probably the the th the third reason of for getting this going again. So it's good to have a rocket up your ass every now and then, you know. And 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 I needed a, a rocket, and and those three things <laughs> got me doing this again. Um, and yes, talking just talking about the last few years, it's been a strange last few years, that's for sure, uh, with everything that's gone on in terms of, you know, COVID and all the other kind of nonsense. Um, I feel like it's it's raised kind of a few an anomalies in terms of how the world is run. Um, it's it's kind of been quite disappointing in terms of how our leaders have handled things and the sort of control that they are wanting to enforce over us. And I think if we left it to them, they would kind of burn our countries and, and this world down pretty damn quickly because they've done a good job of it over the last three years. And I think it's up to people like you. I think it's up to people like me who are able to offer contrarian views, who are able to offer a bit of resistance and who are mostly able to offer a lot of positivity and to 
get us out of this mess and to provide a bright future for ourselves, for our youngsters, our kids. And um, we, we kind of all need to, to play our bit. Um, and, you know, we need to remember that none of us were put on this planet to be watered down versions of ourselves. We all definitely have something unique and something amazing to offer the world. And it's up to us to, to kind of deliver on that. So going forward, the, the podcast is going to be remaining pretty much the same, to be honest with you. I'm still going to be speaking to people, um, interesting people, of course, uh, but it's going to be with less of an emphasis on their life stories and probably more focus on what they are experts at and what they can teach us through you know, sharing what they know and sharing their wisdom. And I think, um, yeah, I think that's really, really important. Um, I, I want to be speaking to people who have contrarian views to what is kind of portrayed in the mainstream media. I want to be speaking to people that have different views to to myself, you know, to to challenge my own thinking. Because I think the more we can listen to other people, the more we can just understand their worldviews. And the more we can do that, I guess the the more united we can be, which at the moment is is not how the world seems. And I think we we have to all kind of um, maybe swallow our pride a little bit and start listening to each other and um, and sort of get get through what we we we're, we're currently in. And I listened to a really interesting podcast uh, a while ago with um, Joe Rogan and Jewel. And um, she spoke about a, a thing called the Socratic method of dialectics, which is when two people have a conversation and a third thing gets known. And I think that's really important in this day and age. And even better, two people with different opinions speaking or debating, and then a third thing gets known. And that will allow us to sort of come together and to realize there, there is some middle ground in all of this. Uh, another thing in terms of the podcast is the, the structure will be remaining qu quite similar. Uh, these will be long form conversations, free flowing. Uh, like Joe Rogan says a lot, he's like, there's, th there's people are not talking anymore. You know, we don't have uh, long conversations generally, you know, we don't have them with our friends, with our family. So we, we don't even really know each other. We have these kind of like high level relationships and that doesn't help any of us. So this is my contribution to the world to uh, encourage people to uh, have long conversations. It's for me to kind of carry on uh, the, the, tradition maybe of of having long conversations of storytelling and i think that is an important thing and i encourage every one of you to to kind of do the same too um i think if we can each uh collectively contribute to the i guess the consciousness and the uh, community and connectivity of the world uh and we each make a concerted effort to do that uh, then we've done our bits you know we we're leaving the world in a in a better place than we found it and yeah i mean how do we do that actually i think you know that's done through kind of i guess just having the courage to do it but also through leadership and i think leadership the best way to do is just lead through action and uh, taking action to do things and and doing what i'm saying now and you know so so lead through action and uh, have conversations, spread positivity, um, be a good person, listen to other people more. And ultimately, we can enjoy our time on this planet, which is very short. Uh, we can explore like human nature, human performance, um, everything it is and means to be humans. And um, yeah, you were meant to offer something great and unique on this planet. In terms of the podcast, uh, if you have any suggestions on guests, if you have any feedback on episodes, if you have anything you want to speak about or get in touch with, then, then just find me on like social media or leave comments wherever. Uh, or you can get in touch with me uh, via email, uh, gareth at ridic, R-I-D-I-C-human.com. 
and uh, we can, uh, yeah, we can have a conversation that way. Um, I guess just to finish off as well, this is effectively the start of what is going to be season two of the Ridiculous Human podcast. And wherever you are in the world, whoever you are, uh, whatever you are up to, I just hope that um, you have an amazing day and um, that you are doing a little bit to to make this place better and uh, sending you lots of love and good vibes and looking forward to what season two has installed for us. So cheers. Bye.